Okay, here we have the basis of a BSA A65 engine in kit form. But uh, don't get too excited everybody. Uh, this is not the one that came in just for ignition timing adjustments and carburetor adjustments and ended up being taken to pieces because it had uh, a split in the front of the cylinder barrels and some crankshaft end float and a bit of wear and tear on timing side bush and also the uh, early stages of wear on the big ends. Oh no, um, this is another one. This one was brought to me in bits, uh, some of which are sort of down there among that lot in the boxes. This one also needed a crank regrind and apparently this one had been sort of vibrating and making noises if I remember right. Well anyway it was taken to bits for some reason so it must have been doing something and interestingly this has got the famous and fabled time inside bearing conversion and yet here we are with it in pieces so I don't really know what the story was there but I've got to put it back together I've had the crank back from being reground and I've just fitted new big end shells so I'm ready to start looking and scratching my head and trying to find all the other relevant bits and pieces and see what can be reused and what might need to be replaced in order to get the crankshaft into those cases and build it back up again but I've got a crank which is it was on minus 10 it's now on minus 20 with new big ends and it's all in very good shape a very good grind as I always do get from Aeron can't fault him with those and that's ready to go in and become the heart of this engine but as I say it's not a bit of progress on the other one that everyone's been watching but I'm hoping to get the crank back for that one any day soon and I have got an interesting surprise in store there hopefully I'm pretty sure that uh, what he's done for me will work out well and it might be something that's never been done before on a time inside bush but um, that's another story and this is a totally separate project from the whole A65 Thunderbolt that I've got here just to confuse matters and make things a little more interesting you know just to add so what I just uh, covered, I just found this uh, plastic tub of bits here and uh, well, we've got a little bit of a puzzle, jigsaw puzzle on our hands. But I'll work through it, find out what's what and what can be used again and if anything can't be and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, interesting couple of hours ahead possibly, but uh, I'll try and sort my way through it then. Just coming back to this lovely tub of bits from the A65 engine that arrived here in kit form for a moment. There's the crank again. Um, I've been having a rummage through and trying to sort of piece together and find what relevant bits might be in here. And the uh, engine main bearings are all in there. That's the timing side. That's the SRM, formerly Devimede, timing side conversion one there. And I found the drive side roller main bearing there, timing pinion, a few other bits and bobs. This is actually the uh, thrust ring for that bearing there, which you just tighten the timing pinion up on it as the timing pinion bears against that until you've just got a Nats end float, just the slightest end float, and then you do the uh, lock nut up outboard of the oil pump drive worm and that's your end float set on these so I found all that but this is quite fascinating all this lot we've got um, gearbox parts in there we've got bolts nuts and studs and screws from every area of the bike we've got cam followers we've got spark plugs for some reason we've got clutch center there and even the rubber everything it's just been taken apart as far as it will go red front of drive there and for some total illogical reason three kickstart springs so whether we got some things in duplicate here or what i don't know we've even got a handlebar cable adjuster there so it's all going to take a bit of working out this but uh 
piece by piece and bit by bit and try and get there. There's a primary chain adjuster, gear change quadrant, cylinder head bolts. Uh, <laughs> the mind boggles. I mean, when I take something apart, I like to try and sort of separate the bits into groups like cylinder head, primary drive, timing side and so on. And even then, it can be a little bit of a puzzle putting it back together sometimes. I try and keep the screws in order too from wherever they came from because, uh, well, you just this lot could be anybody's guess whether some of them want to go on the timing side or the primary side or whatever. So I'll have to spend the time working out and screwing in a lot of these and see if they go in far enough or too far or whatever. Anyway, we're going to be in for some fun with this one, that's for sure.